Hey guys! In today's video, I'll be reviewing the top 8 best bait casting rod for bass. I made this list based on my personal opinion, and I tried to rank them based on their quality, durability, customer reviews, and more. If you want to know about the best pricing and more information, you can check the description links below. Number 8 in my list is Berkley Bait Casting Rod. A multi-action casting rod, the Berkley Lightning Casting Rod, is offered at one of the most affordable prices on this list. It's constructed with a strong and durable one-piece design with 24-ton mm multi-modulus graphite. The Lightning Casting Rod offers great sensitivity that makes it easy to set a hook quickly, yet it's sturdy enough to last for years to come. The Berkley Lightning Casting Rod includes a double locking reel seat that keeps your fishing reel snugged up throughout the day. Stainless steel guides offer smooth casts as they resist corrosion and aluminum oxide inserts offer smoother line flow. Rubberized cork handles provide extra comfort during those long and tough hours. If you're looking for a surprisingly good casting rod, the Berkley Lightning is definitely worth checking out. Number 7 in my list is Ugly Stick Shakespeare Elite Bait Casting Rod. Ugly Stick is back again with the strength and durability they're known for with the Elite Casting Rod. The rugged one-piece Ugly Tech design delivers 35% more graphite than the famous GX2 model. This results in a stronger, more sensitive rod that's also lighter than the GX2. The Ugly Stick Elite Casting Rod features a clear tip design that adds even more strength where you need it most, and Ugly Stick's legendary Ugly Tough guides are super slick and durable. The Ugly Stick Elite Casting Rod is designed for everything from top waters and crankbaits to flies and live baits. Whether you're targeting largemouth bass on your favorite pond or channel catfish in the tidal creeks, the Ugly Stick Elite Casting Rod gives you the sensitivity and strength you need for the fight of your life. With the Ugly Stick, you'll never have to worry about your rod failing you when you need it most. Number 6 in my list is Favorite White Bird Bait Casting Rod. Known for its unique design and impressive performance, the Favorite White Bird Casting Rods deliver an uncanny amount of versatility and precision that is hard to match. Sporting a premium IM 24-ton blank that features a multi-layer structure designed with varying modulus and direction carbon fibers, the White Bird casting rods offer torsional resistance and a greater degree of strength than other rods in its class. To help facilitate longer, more accurate casts, the favorite White Bird casting rods feature guides that allow a smoother and more efficient transition of energy. Finished with a split cork handle for added comfort and durability, the favorite white bird casting rods deliver everything a bass angler needs to cover a wide range of fishing applications. Number 5 in my list is Lou's Fishing Bait Casting Rod. The Lou's Custom Light Speed Stick casting rods come in specific actions with specific techniques to match. Action-specific taper designs feature a progressively softer tip to maximize sensitivity and help you detect subtle bites. Advanced Performance Technology Graphite Top Grade 85 Million Modulus Blanks, found in the upper tier of Lou's Speed Stick series, are lightweight and responsive, permitting the quickest, most direct transfer of sensitivity. Multi-layer construction gives maximum durability where it's needed most. These rods are sensitive enough to detect the lightest nibble, yet durable enough to handle the toughest battles. Titanium oxide guides deliver smooth line flow and increased casting performance. With its soft-touch skeletal baitcaster reel seats, Lou delivers direct connection with the blank for superb sensitivity transfer, and it is corrosion-free to stand up to dirty conditions. Number 4 in my list is Dobin's Bait Casting Rod. The Fury Casting Rods are an excellent option for any bass fisherman. Built to a price that will not break the bank, these rods still deliver the quality that has made them a great option for experienced anglers. Featuring a sensitive high modulus graphite blank that's performance balanced, this rod will provide the sensitivity that any bass fisherman is looking for. Fuji reel seats, secured with Kevlar wrapping, provide an excellent foundation for your reel, while a grade cork grips with high-density hypalon butts ensure all-day comfort. It has what it takes to tackle a range of applications, from top water to flipping, and the Dobin's Rods Fury Casting Rods deliver the technique-specific performance anglers have come to expect from Dobin's Rods. Whether you're looking for an extra rod for your lineup 
or wanting to find an affordable option for your first bait casting rod. Dubbin's Fury casting rods are definitely worth a look. Number three in my list is ST, Croy bait casting rod. I love to flip heavy cover because of the mono nature of the battle. Either you drop your lure in the center of a bush and see the whole bush shake, or you punch a big weight through a grass mat and feel the distinctive thunk before it gets down another foot. It's visceral and exciting, and a great way to catch bigger than average fish. Unfortunately, punching weights up to 2 ounces can take a toll on your body if the rod isn't properly balanced. It may just be simple fatigue, or worse yet, you could develop tendonitis or a rotator cuff injury. It doesn't help that short distance hook sets on heavy braid are jarring too. The ST. Croy Legend X doesn't eliminate those problems, but it does minimize them through perfect balance and makes flipping a joy again. You'll be surprised that a rod this light can pack so much power. Number two in my list is KVD Series Bait Casting Rod. When the winningest crankbait angler of all time designs rods for that technique, you take them seriously. Kevin Van Dam has forgotten more about cranking than most of us will ever know, so it's no wonder he made one of the best crankbait rods. If you prefer a lightweight composite cranking rod to one wholly made of graphite, the Luz KVD line needs to be in your rod locker. Some anglers may prefer a 7-foot, 6-inch, or even 8-foot rod for offshore pursuits, but this shorter rod casts every bit as far, regardless of whether you're at the low end of the upper end of its lure weight recommendations. I long preferred graphite cranking rods, but I know that I miss some fish when I use them with a hair trigger response time. Simply put, I pull the bait right out of their mouth. With a composite rod, that's far less likely. They simply get hooked and stay hooked longer. It can also handle castable umbrella rigs, big flutter spoons, and some of the best swim baits or glide baits. Number one in my list is Abu Garcia Veritas Bait Casting Rod. These Veritas rods, with white blanks and white EVA handles, look like they shouldn't be able to get down and dirty, but when it comes to performing on the water, they're one of the best bait casting rods for bass and taking a beating. Look, I'm rough on my equipment. I bounce across big waves in rough water. I stick the rod tips into the bottom to measure depth or to retrieve a stuck lure. That means if it can be broken, there's a chance I'll break it. And this rod stood up to everything I could dish out, no worse for wear. It's also just fast enough to work well with lures that require sensitivity and just moderate enough that you'll like it as a spinnerbait rod or for chatterbaits and other moving lures. Whether it's a stalwart in your rod locker or something you throw in the back of your truck, in case you pass a likely-looking fishery, this rod will be ready for action when you most need it. Alright guys, this we are today's video. If you find this video helpful for you, then like the video, and if you come to our channel first time, then hit the subscribe button for amazing and coming videos. Be sure to check out the link in the description for updated price of all the products discussed in this video. Hope you have a great day and see you soon in the next video.